Hey there, it's Jason from Codemanship uh, with another short video about what I'm I'm classifying as a rookie mistake. But the sad truth is that many senior developers get mixed up on this as well. It's the dreaded R word, refactoring, um, a much abused term in software development. And what I wanted to do in this video is just make it clear what refactoring actually is and to show you some refactoring. So you'll see now that I'm doing some uh, C-sharp refactoring in the background here uh, to demonstrate. So what is refactoring? Refactoring is improving the internal design of our software, improving our code to make it easier to change, not to improve its performance or make it more scalable specifically to make it easier to change, make it easier to understand, make it simpler, remove duplication, make it more modular and so on and so forth. Um, and it works by preserving the behavior of the software. In other words, we're making the software easier to change without changing what the software does, uh, very importantly. Um, and this is where tests come in. How do we know that we haven't changed what the software does or broken the software, in other words? Well, we uh, we test it, basically. So fast-running tests are very, very useful if we're refactoring. Now, refactoring is also a noun. So the verb refactoring, I am refactoring, you are refactoring, she is refactoring, um, means improving the internal to the design of the code to make it easier to change without breaking it, very importantly. But a refactoring is an atomic rewrite or an atomic restructuring of the code um, towards that aim. For example, if we got a, a method or a function, the name of which doesn't make a lot of sense, we could rename that method or function. And of course, if we rename the method or the function, we then have to go and find everywhere in the code that that method or function is being called and update those call sites as well to get back to code that does what it did before. So that's an individual refactoring. It's an atomic rewrite of the code. We can't do half a rename because then our code won't work. We have to do the full rename, change the name of the function and find everywhere the function is being called and update those call sites. Um, and those um, individual refactorings are a bit like the moves of chess. They have well-defined mechanics, and a lot of them have names like uh, rename function, move method, extract class, so on and so forth. And it is well worth learning these primitive refactorings, these moves of refactoring chess, if you like. And we restructure our code as a sequence of individual refactorings, at the end of which we make sure that our tests are still passing, as you can see in the video. So that's the discipline of refactoring. We don't just go willy-nilly into the code and start hacking away at it and then test it you know, an hour or two or three or a week later, as I've seen some developers do when they claimed they were refactoring. If someone is really refactoring, you'll see them getting back to passing tests very, very often they'll change one thing, they'll rename something or they'll move something, and then they'll run their tests. And you'll also note that I'm using version control, kind of seat belts for refactoring here. So if I get, get into a bit of a mess, if I, if I mess it up or I'm not happy with the result, I can easily get back to something that A, works very importantly, and B, that I'm happy with. And I set out with a refactoring goal. So the demonstration you're seeing now, uh, my goal in this demonstration is very simply to introduce dependency injection for a hardwired external dependency. So I've got some code here that I want to change, um, and I've got some tests for it, but the tests run slow because they're, they're, they're basically integration tests. Um, the code that I want to change is actually directly calling web services, and I don't want to do that. So I want to introduce separation of concerns. I want to separate out the code that calls the warehouse web service into its own class, and then I want to inject an instance of that class. I want to use dependency injection to pass an instance of this new class into the class that I'm, that I'm testing here so that I can stub it in my test. So that's my overall goal, but I'm not just hacking away at the code and rewriting it. I'm actually doing it as a sequence of individual refactorings, testing all the way through and using version control at certain waypoints to give me an easy way back if it all goes horribly wrong, which it often does. Um, so this is the discipline of refactoring. Um, 
A lot of developers talk about refactoring. A lot of developers claim to do it. Uh, I'm afraid the vast majority of those developers don't. And that doesn't just include newbies. And um, that includes people who've been developers for, for decades. It's actually a surprisingly rare skill, considering how much we talk about it and claim to be doing it. Um, so this is the discipline of refactoring. That's what it really means. And this is what it really looks like. Now, people will vary to taste. Some people will, uh, for example, commit more often or less often. Uh, some people will push their changes more often or less often. At the end of this, when I've achieved my goal, when my achievement is unlocked, um, I probably would at that point consider pushing that code. Another part of the discipline of refactoring is if you're working on a team, so other people are editing the, the, the code at the same time, you don't want to do hours and hours or days and days of refactorings and completely restructure the code and then spring that on the team in one go. That's uh, essentially pulling the rug out from underneath them. Now, I've seen some real uh, merge train wrecks when people have tried to do that. And we've usually ended up um, unable to fix them because it just takes too long. So we've kind of abandoned we said, look, we need to roll it back and you need to start again, basically, and drip feed us those changes. It's good developer etiquette when you're doing large scale refactorings to not check them all in in one go.